Hi everyone, Cinder here, and welcome back to Last Dream World Unknown. As you see, I'm outside the military outpost. After I went all the way back down to the seventh floor, the rubble wasn't cleared still. I couldn't advance. And I talked to the commander again, he said it could be days, weeks before the rubble is cleared. That says to me, is that's as far as we can go right now. Which is a shame, because I wanted to see what future equipment we could get. Fancier equipment. Alas, that's as far as we can go for now. So, my guess is we've got to advance the story before we go any further. Before we can continue to go further in the outpost. So, with that, I'm going to mark this on the map because I haven't yet. Northern Ophros... 500 years since the Great War, and yet the Theopolis Ruling Council won't close this isolated border outpost. This is the most miserable posting in all of Orphos. I'm sorry. <laughs> so instead, since we can't do that anymore, sadly, because we were getting some great stuff from it. Down to a skeleton crew of only two guards. Can't complain though, it's an easy enough job. Um, we're going to try something else. <laughs> we have the elemental cave we can try. And we can also do the, whatever these caves are, whichever one is the cave we're looking for. I say we explore the elemental cave a little bit and see what lies in store there. If it's a place we can even tackle right now. We've run into that a lot. Um, which is good that it's marked on the map. <laughs> because then you're not completely... You're not completely stuck. It's like, oh, I want to explore this place that I got a key for now. Where was it again? And you're just running around everywhere. So, good thing that it's marked on the map. And it's interesting that some things are, you have all this freedom to explore, but some things will be locked out to you. Your party's not strong enough. You don't have the right equipment. It's a way to make sure you don't wander into a place that's extremely too powerful for you. At least I hope that's the intent. <laughs> Underground Lake. Let's explore this place. Three perfect SP orbs. That's awesome. There we go. Enemies. Infested tree, putrid creeper, desert worm. We've seen these enemies before. I forgot to heal again. Darn. Well, so much for the just blasting them all with fire. I get MP back first. Oh man, Hex is so terrible. <coughs> Just minus 35 to all your. minus 35%. Just all your stats. It's not fun. <laughs> Slashing bite. Lose 25% or lose 20% of my HP per turn. I thought we'd seen these enemies before. They weren't that hard. I'm just trying to save MP. Because Sai's going to be using all of it. <laughs> right now. It's because I want to keep going. 
all the MP <laughs> to Finn. <laughs> yes, so much HP, so much MP now. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. Um, a, a lot of a lot of different ways to go. I'm afraid I'm gonna miss out on some treasure. Jeez, this is a really large area. Hi, all the enemies. Oh, got a fire seven now. Nope, get confusion. This is why I have the Genji ring on. Right here. Didn't kill the worms, so that's okay. We can osmosis them. Slowly build. Build MP back. As long as we don't see bleed. <laughs> Then we're okay. Didn't I build a macro for this? The three guards in osmosis? I might have and I just don't remember. Let's try this one. Nope. Level 86 for everybody. Um, Macro. Oh, it's attack, attack, guard, osmosis. Guard. Guard. Well, let's let's do this for the first one. Guard, guard, guard. Osmosis. We'll do that. That'll be battle macro number one. Mining bomb. What do we have in here? A fire ring? And a small AP orb. Okay. Not bad. Jeez, this large area. No, we're gonna kill the desert worm. Quicksilver! Great! You all can go first. Maybe. You're older enemies, so... That 50% still isn't enough. Minus 25 agility. Guard, 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 guard. Could we have to wait a turn? It! Minus 20! Minus 20%. Um... One. Guard, 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 osmosis. <laughs> and it would silence, but you can't silence us. Region. Osmosis next turn. Just so we get some H some HP back while we're sitting here. <laughs> Might as well. Osmosis. Good. I'm getting MP back. That's lame. <laughs> With the the damage there. Target me. And the putrid creeper has been going through his MP for contagion. Instead of letting me steal it. <laughs> Same with the ivy. Osmosis, what's left? And 
That will do. All right, now we can start getting through these battles. I might have MP. First, let's kill the entire party. Bomb. Recipe for haste helm. Haste helm. Mix a ruby helm. Oh, it's a ruby helm recipe. Awesome. Five gremlin teeth, five Kyrian hoofs. I'm pretty sure I have the hoofs. I have a few. <laughs> gremlin tooth? Gremlin teeth. That may be two different things. You know, saying teeth, it's like trying to pearl it. But it could be a completely different item. You just don't know. If it is the, the Gremlin Tooth item, then we can make one. I don't remember where we were getting Kyrian, Kyrian Hoofs. It's another problem not playing. Not playing for a few weeks. All the way over here, there's a Resurrection Elixir. There's a Ruby Axe, a Ruby Shield, and a Medium AP Orb. That's over here, but this place is really large, so... Still have some exploring to do. What's this? Might as well, there's only two enemies. Awesome. Back up to full MP. Just about. Confusion attack. Oh no. Go away. Boy, that hex move, though, I gotta say, is really starting to show its fangs. Cutting 35% off all your stats. Like you can really see the drop in damage in where you go in the turn order in defense. You really, really see it. Okay. We're going to cast Thunder Ape because I know that'll get rid of the worms. If I remember. remember right? I shouldn't say I know. <laughs> if I remember correctly, it will. Back before we get rid of the enemy. Good. Creeper, right? Name of that enemy. Anyway, that was a. We got ruby equipment, which is awesome, but that was a long path we had to take. There's another long path. I'm probably gonna miss things in here just because there's so many different paths to take. But there's a there's a good chance that I miss some things. Wrong formation appears unstable, push on it. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, it didn't do what I was hoping it would do, but... Looks like it made some path down there. I think it would make a bridge <laughs> to cross. to attack the demonic slimes. You're gonna thunder eight. Jeez, these worms are fast. They're even outspeeding Gwen.
Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna level up. Two points into critical. A few points into agility. Four points into agility. Five, two, three, four, five, two into HP. Mm -hmm. Another point to critical. That'll work. As for me, one, two, three, four, two into MP for now. More attack. More magic defense, more accuracy, more critical, more preamp. A little more MP. She has so much preamp right now. Five. Maybe we'll see. I may put some points in that. Two, three, four. Five. More MP. <laughs> I'll put. I'll put two points into critical. So much MP now, and it's awesome. <laughs> Thanks to that ring and other equipment. There we go. Now we're all just a little bit better. <laughs> uh, were we going? Yeah, we were going this way. I wanted to try to find the formation, the rock formation that we saw right below us. Here. Huh, okay. More of a, uh... More of a bridge. Interesting. This is not the place for the, the quest, or the, the main... Quote, main quest, unquote. I don't think it is. I think it was the other cave we saw on the map that had more more forest around it. Okay, looks like we're going to have to push all the formations, all the rock formations we can find to create a bridge and then that's our final destination for here. Is across the rock bridge that we're slowly making. And Hopefully, there's really good stuff. <laughs> well, there's treasures over there <laughs> I need to grab. There we go, there's more. So each one of these pathways, there were a lot of pathways, but each one ends up with us either it's the middle path which we're trying to make the bridge or it leads to a dead end with the the pillar we push over to make said bridge we need so this this place is large but now i have a idea what we're doing so not completely thrown off by how how large this area is. Hmm, I missed a turn somewhere. Because this is the beginning of the area. Just making sure. Oh, the Badlands Behemoth! Hi, Badland Behemoth! Make sure. Yep. Oh, I hope that doesn't reset stuff. <laughs> I 
I thought I would have to walk completely off screen to walk out of here. Well, let's keep exploring. So this leads to one, but I'm still I'm missing a way to get to those treasure chests. How do I get to those? And what I think is the last, last uh, pillar, because I feel like I still need one more. Oh, I'm gonna take bleed damage this turn. Lame. This leads to the... See, how do I get over there? This leads to that one I've already pushed down. Hmm... Because there were no other turns to get up there. I feel like I'm missing something. Let's keep going to the right. Double, double checking that way. The enemy's not gonna survive, but just in case Gwyn missed. Okay, that was all we needed for the bridge. Yes, let's cross it. All right. This may lead all the way around to treasure. Aw, nothing in this one. Lame. There we go. Recipe for Auric Dagger. We're gonna look at these one at a time, because if I end up getting <laughs> a lot of recipes, three recipes. Auric Dagger. Mix a Ruby Dagger with five Badlands Horns and five Spirit Bloods. So it's a Ruby Dagger recipe. A small AP orb and a Silence Ring. Silence ring. Ring that protects against silence. Let's keep going. Not through this place yet. A thawing ring. Thawing ring. A ring that protects against being frozen. That frozen status effect we've been hit with that's pretty nasty if we come up to a place that has a lot of it we should throw that on that's awesome haven't seen that i think that's it for this cave i think we've explored all of it now okay awesome that's some neat stuff from that Okay, with that complete, the underground lake, um, the only other place I can really think of to, to check um, we still check the elemental cave, still go there, I'll do that after, afterwards though. Can't do anything else with the secret military outpost. Whatever this is, it just looks deadly. <laughs> um, let's go to the... 
what I think is the cave that the royal historian was talking about. It's a shame that the bridges are are broken. <laughs> They'd make traveling around so much easier. Because now I have to go all the way around. You know, while I'm here. While we're passing by, let's pay the 5k and sleep. Full MP for Finn. <laughs> All. 12,800 of it. <laughs> <coughs> Yikes. Okay, cross the bridge. Well, the engineer tunnels really, really would come in handy. Been to this one before. And we get attacked. Of course we do. Have some ice. Magical ward. That's fine. We don't really need to cast again. I will take some MP though. Take the MP back that I used. This, is, this place isn't marked on the map, so I'm going to mark it on the map real quick. This would be the Southern Orphos Order. Awesome! Awesome! Hyper Remedy and some bombs. The best post in the entire Orphean military. There hasn't been an incident at this border since the Great War. So I just sit here and chill. <laughs> no worries. Oh, perfect elixir. This is one of, the, of only a handful st full of posts that allow soldiers to be drunk on duty. And as long as that remains true, I'll be a happy man. <laughs> Otherwise, this would be a very boring post. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> if we go this way, we will be at the harbor. All right, that's marked on the map now. We can now go to what I think is going to be our destination to help the kingdom of Theopolis. Or at least the Royal Historian. Advance the story, <laughs> regardless. Spiral Cave. Entry prohibited, Theopolis Ruling Council. Okay. This is where we need to be then. The Mines of Bramir. Pride of Svarta. Alright. Yeah, this looks familiar. From the cutscene. Let's see what enemies are in here. I'm sure we're going to run into some. Massive Potion. Here we go. Rabid Werewolves. I'm gonna go fire. Ooh, you all got some HP. All right. Okay. Just barely can take it. Gwen and Sire still getting double EXP or double SP. Next skills at ninety.
I see why it's called Spiral Cave, do you? <laughs> We're just gonna go in a circle. Aw, uh, nothing. Man, I hate when there's nothing in there. At least throw a potion. Something just small in there. Oh, we are here. Outer Lava Lake. Okay, well. Let's watch the cutscene. As you enter the huge lava-filled chamber, the sulfurous air ignites your senses. Vision of the past. New vision of the past! Oh, this vision of the past. No, and he runs out. Oh, we're gonna see what happened. Oh, awesome. You pushed that and made a bridge. You look super evil. <laughs> Come to me, insects. Yep, super evil. Yes, master. Oh, jeez. Those two just sacrificed themselves. <laughs> yes, your weak minds will serve me well to make it bridge. That is terrible. All right, evil thing. Time for you to die. Continue to my temple, maggots. Yes, master. And more of them are just going to jump to their death. Obey me and give purpose to your meaningless lives. I will be the god of this world. Now, show me your utter obedience. Yes, master. Nothing can stop me. How about we prove him wrong? Yep. Cross that. Let's take a look around. Hellhound, Burning Soul, Charred Slime. Change of plans from the fire, huh? <laughs> Ice 8. I feel that's gonna work really well against all these fire enemies. Charred Goo. Did we need Charred Goo? For the, uh, I wrote it down. For the spell side quest, right? Where is that note? Uh, and where is it? Hope I didn't accidentally accidentally get rid of it. That'd be sad. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, darn. I wrote it down. Here it is. Uh, ethereal orbs. Yeah, charred goo. And I needed the hellhound fangs as well. So we need more hellhound and charred goo. Cool. We'll definitely gather some of that. Dark Knight's Armor. <laughs> it's my my current class. I'm really hoping there's another class change just because that would be super cool to me. Uh, mix Ruby Armor. It's a Ruby Armor recipe. Five Crab Pincers, five Frozen Skulls. Crab Pincers. Crab Pincers. Five Frozen Skulls. Frozen Skulls. Awesome. I can make that. But we have this as your armor now. <laughs> we'll have to see how good the how good the Dark Knight armor is. Regardless, I'm glad we're finding ruby ruby equipment recipes. You know that's great. Okay, so we definitely want to explore this place for the treasures, for. 
The way is blocked by rubble. It would require a powerful explosive to clear the way. Use liquid explosives to disperse the rubble. Oh, that's what the liquid explosives are for. Neat. Well, I wonder... Okay, hold on. Save. What happens if we do? <laughs> Does it lead... Lead to treasure? If not, I may want to save them to see... Because we only have... Three. We only found them by going into a into a cave. Into a special cave. So this looks like it just leads around. Yeah, it just leads around. I could have gotten here. I can get here without that, so let's let's not let's not use them yet. We can just walk around. Plus, we may miss some treasures that way. I guess it, probably just a shortcut. Um, or you may have to use the explosives, but it doesn't look that way. Um, anyway, regardless, um, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you had a lot of fun. I'm really excited to explore this place and completely destroy that evil spirit. I'm going to have fun doing that. Because it deserves to be utterly demolished until the next episode i'm cinder 9 remember to shoot for the stars and take care everyone